right, and here is my cream, sweet cream or sweet corn casserole. I have 14 little circles out of this. Oh my gosh, that's two teaspoons of cinnamon. And here we are. I didn't think it was gonna pop up that easily. I gotta get to chopping those onions. And you know what I forgot on my plate? A piece of sausage. And oh my gosh, these are delicious. Isn't that cute? And there, that's the finished one. I wish I had videotaped in there. Howdy everyone, this is Trisha and welcome to my channel. I am out and about and today I am looking to create a little gift, something that doesn't cost anything because we got invited to an, well, it's gonna cost something but I'll explain. We got invited to an 80th birthday party and to this lovely lady who's uh, kind of a funny, fun, goofy kind of a lady. She's very sweet, very kind, uh, always, always seems to be in a happy, go-lucky mood whenever uh, we've seen her and uh, they've invited us to a birthday party which we immediately said yes. And so that's great. On the invitation it says no gifts, 80 pennies only. So we thought, well, <laughs> this is her. This is her way of her goofiness. She doesn't want any presents, but bring 80 pennies. So I'm telling, uh, you know, my husband and I are actually decided that, well, you know what? We are going to take her 80 pennies because we want to go along with the joke. Maybe uh, some other people will also. I'm hoping they will because it'll be really funny if they do. And uh, anyway, they're having a talent show or they're inviting anyone who wants to show off some talent also to do that so I think it's gonna be a pretty fun night it's only like three hour party but uh, we're looking forward to it because we don't really get out much it's just my husband and I actually we we go and do things on our own we have our date night and so forth but you know we want to see some people so this will be fun so I was uh, thinking yesterday and I thought, well, you know what? I, I want to make something with the 80 pennies. I don't just want to give her 80 pennies. I want to present them to her in a gift form. So I thought, well, maybe I'll package them really pretty, put them in a box or some other little trinket thing that I can put them in and somehow create something. So that's where my mind is going. I want to maybe create something with 80 pennies. Um, I've already looked and researched, you know, different crafts done with 80 pennies or not in, not necessarily pennies but just pennies and I've seen where they've done like the outside of a frame with some pennies they've done like they've covered up um, like a vase or just done something with the pennies that you know you've glued them onto something I've even some seen some people do floors but I'm not gonna go do her floors and I want to do it with 80 pennies specifically because that's what she asked for but I want to create something because I don't just want to give her the pennies which is probably what a lot of people are going to do and but that's just me it's not because I want to outdo anybody or try to I just want to just make it I don't know she's a really great person and I just want to give her something maybe a little bit more than just 80 pennies but I don't want to oh well you get it right you kind of get it don't you I mean if you're a creative person that's just what you do you want to create something so that's just where my mind goes it doesn't go to trying to be better or do anything better than anyone because you know I can't you know this is something that's probably not gonna cost me much to do so I'm gonna hit the Dollar Tree and see what I can find in there that maybe I can cover with pennies or maybe I can do with pennies I had another idea to do something with puzzle pieces so maybe I'll go with that idea with the pennies and uh, I'll be doing that in a video if um, if I do end up coming up with an idea uh, to do. Uh, if not, I'll let you know what I decided to do for the gift. If I just decided to put them in a box and wrap it up pretty, I don't know. We'll find out. Uh, there's a car backing or a truck backing up behind me and it's making me nervous. I don't know why. I always think they're going to hit me. I'm parked in a really nice little spot here. I stopped off and got me some lunch and I got myself some Popeyes. So I got myself my drink right here. Louisiana Kitchen. I'm not a big fan of Popeyes take a little sip lady just stared at me like why am I holding up my drink I don't really care you know people do weird things holding up a drink it's not as weird as some other things I've seen done but anyway I'm not a real big fan of Popeyes I've got I've been there before and well you know I'm in Texas and we have church's fried chicken so church's fried chicken is our chicken and that's it but I gave a uh, Popeyes and I was excited when I heard oh we're gonna get a Popeyes here in our town I'm so excited I can't wait to taste it everybody you know big deal about Popeyes and 
not everybody, but you know, you see commercials and whatever. Not necessarily people that I know. But anyway, you know, you hear about Popeyes and here I've got my little box and I don't know what's in it and I'll explain. <laughs> Sorry. I just crack myself up sometimes. Anyway, um, I stopped off at Popeyes because I said, you know what, I'm going to give them another try. I've stopped there before and it's not that it's not good. It's good. It's just that, you know, I'm, I was comparing it to the chicken that I'm used to, which is Church's Fried Chicken. And, you know, I like my Church's better. But, of course, people that are used to eating Popeyes will probably someday taste Church's and they'll say, no, Church's is not as good as Popeyes. So it's all just a matter of taste. But because, you know, I want to give it another chance, I will. So I saw that they had a special, which was like three chicken tenders. And uh, I think it came with a side and a drink, like the meal for six something, 6.49 or something like that. So I get up to the window and I forget what is it that I wanted to order. But it was like their ad, you know, their big, um, you know, their big poster is what I wanted to say. So I thought, well, I'll just, I'll just I want the special. So when they, they came on the intercom and said, hey, would you like to try our sweet and spicy special, whatever, whatever. I went like, yeah, let me have that. Let me have the special, that's what I said. Cause he does I don't think he's a special. He just has sweet and spicy something, 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 something. And I just wanted to agree. And I go, yeah, let me have the that that special that you have. So he goes, okay, the the five dollar one. And I was like, yeah, okay, is it five dollars today maybe? So I said yes. And then he asked me, sweet or spicy? And I said spicy. And what side? Blah 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 blah. And I said what I want it, and the drink. So then I so as soon as I I said that, and he's saying anything else, blah 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 blah. I'm looking down. I see the daily specials: Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and they're for something on there or five dollars or whatever it was. So I was thinking, oh, that's what I ordered. I ordered the Tuesday special. Today's a Tuesday, and I thought, oh, what the heck? I'll just go ahead and have that. Sounds good. I'm just I'm hungry. So I get to the window, and then it's four eighty six. So I'm thinking. Shouldn't it be five something? So I'm like, I don't know what the heck I ordered. <laughs> so I paid for it and I got my, my meal. So I'm about to find out what I had. It's an unboxing, isn't this exciting? <laughs> it's exactly that, it was a special. Two pieces of chicken, a side and a biscuit. And of course I showed you my drink and I asked for mashed potatoes and I asked for spicy so that's what I'm gonna be having and uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna to have to position myself somewhere here because I'm wearing white well kind of off-white and I'm wearing uh, these khaki pants so I have to somehow make myself a little picnic area here excuse my the top of my head there little picnic area so that's what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna to go to the Dollar Tree and also um, I've been wanting to make some chicken salad because uh, you know we love chicken salad. Make some sandwiches with it. And I just dropped my fork. Hello. Okay, so I'll figure out something else to do with my mashed potatoes. I probably won't eat them then. So anyway, um, <laughs> I want to make some chicken salad. So I thought, you know what? I have this chicken salad recipe that I like to do. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and make a video of that also. So be looking forward to that. Now, um, I should have uploaded my video for the Tuesday this morning. And I forgot, and no, I didn't forget, I remembered, but then I subsequently forgot. Is that a word? Did I say that right? Okay, anyway, but I forgot I left the house, and I'm like, oh shoot. Well, as soon as I get back, I'm just going to upload it uh, and put it up for uh, y'all. And it's going to be me painting on um, cedar wood planks. <laughs> I, I saw this um, horse painting. I don't know where I found it. It was, I think I was like searching through Kirkland's or, or Pinterest, you know, looking for some artwork that I could hang in my, on my living room. And I don't know why I've had this thing that I wanted a horse, a horse. So then I found something. I thought, you know what? I think I can paint that. Well, not, not necessarily exactly like it, but I, I could paint something. It, it inspired me. So my husband and I would, went and bought some wood planks and he cut them up and put them together. Uh, and then I painted on them. So that's what my video is going to be on today. Of course, this video that I'm doing right now, you probably won't see for like, you know, two, three weeks after that. Well, maybe not three weeks, maybe, maybe the week after. Because uh, I like to post either a craft video or an out and about on Tuesdays and then do a meal on Fridays. So that's what I'm trying to do. Uh, and uh, anyway, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do chicken salad uh, for later. So I need to get my ingredients for that so that I can make a video also 
do that as soon as I get home, along with hopefully my craft idea that I want to do for this this gift. And I'm really hungry, and this smells so good. I want to take a bite, but look at all the crumbs that are going to fall all over the place. I think I'm just going to have to take it home and eat it there. But I'll take another sip of my Dr. Pepper. This is all going to be super cool by the time I get home. I'll just eat over the box. But, um... I know it's exciting to watch somebody take a bite into something. Some people kind of like that. So maybe I'll take a little bite for you and let you know what I think of this Popeye's chicken. I'm waiting for the spicy. And there it is. It's a nice little spicy. It's not very spicy. But then again, you know, it depends on the person. I can take a little extra spice. Of course, as I've gotten older, I'm, I can't take as much spice. Not that it burns me, but it makes me cough. It gets me back here. And sometimes I choke on it. It's horrible. Does that happen to you? You're getting older and you can't eat stuff like you used to. Like really spicy stuff. Avocado. I love avocado. But you know. Anyway. So this is really good. I'm actually enjoying it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'll give Popeyes a thumbs up. Yep. Okay, well. That's my little out and about. Um, I might come back after the Dollar Tree. If I purchase anything. And I'm thinking I'm going to give myself a $10 challenge for another craft so that I have something. Oh, I do have something at home already that I gave myself a challenge. And I'll be doing a video on that and I'll show you what I got then. But um, I gave my, I'm giving myself another uh, $10 challenge plus whatever I find for the gift. So I'll probably show you my little haul right after. So uh, stick around. <sighs> it is hot out. It got a little cloudy as I walked out of the store, but... Uh, I've parked, I decided to move from where I was and get something else and uh, park here under a nice little shade way on the end of the parking uh, area of the uh, Dollar Tree. I decided to go to McDonald's and um, I'll tell you why. <laughs> the Popeyes. I'm going to give you an update on the Popeyes. Yeah, I had a couple of bites of that uh, little drumstick, the spicy chicken, and it was pretty good. It, there was nothing wrong with it. Um, I did like it. Um, and I decided that, you know what, I'm just going to park here and eat it because I want to go to the Dollar Tree, as I had said, and, uh, I don't have any idea what I'm getting and, you know, you got to concentrate a little bit. I was really hungry and I was thinking, how am I going to be able to concentrate if I'm hungry and I still got to go to the grocery store. So by the time I eat this, so I decided, you know, I'm going to eat it. So I ate the drumstick and I thought, well, I'm going to try these mashed potatoes. And as you know, I said, I dropped my little fork. So I went ahead and I used my biscuit to scoop up the mashed potatoes and I didn't like them. I didn't. I don't know if it's the gravy or what, but it's got some flavoring in there. That's not a bad flavor, but it's too much. Whatever that seasoning is that they put in there, and I think maybe that's what turned me off um, when I tried Popeyes the last time, and I believe that's also the situation that happened with my husband. So I'm not gonna like, oh, I'm never going to Popeyes again. Because the chicken wasn't bad, but I think next time instead of the spicy, I'm gonna try just a regular one. And maybe try just this chicken strips because, you know, the chicken was good. But, you know, sometimes you want to try something else besides something on a bone. Um, but they do have coleslaw. So th I think maybe next time I'll try the coleslaw, something refreshing rather than the mashed potatoes. Um, so that's my update on the Popeye's thing. So I didn't eat up the other piece and I didn't finish really much of that drumstick because it was spicy. It was, it, it, it ended up having a nice little spice and it was crunchy. So if you like crunchy, spicy then yay go for it and, and i do recommend that little special because two pieces a side a biscuit and then a drink for under five bucks uh, what a great deal so anyway i decided that uh, i went to the dollar tree and i got some items and i'm out of the dollar tree and i decided to go to mcdonald's and uh not because i wanted food but because i wanted something sweet because i feel like i'm i'm satisfied with that little piece of chicken that i ate and, the, and i ate the biscuit and of course i drank the drink but they have these two dollar small uh 
drinks or cafes. This is a frappe, a mocha frappe. That caramel or mocha, and then they had like smoothie, small smoothie also that you could choose from, or a McCafe, and I ordered the... I, I thought I ordered a McCafe. They, the girl kept saying frappe, and I said, okay, whatever the $2 thing is. Okay, so that's what I got. A mocha frappe right there. So there's my McDonald's. And you know what? I feel really bad because I didn't do a screenshot, or I didn't hold up my my chicken to do a, a screenshot of that Popeyes and I don't feel like leaning down and uh, I'm doing that now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold up these two items. This is going to be my thumbnail. So I'm going to do a screenshot. Let me hold it up and uh, there we go. All right, that should be good enough to do a screenshot of that. I'm going to try my frappe, my mocha frappe. It looks so good. It's small. Oh. Man, I didn't get him one. I could still get him one and deliver it to him, but maybe like a smoothie. Mmm. Oh my gosh. McDonald's. You're getting fancy. You know, I'm not like a McDonald's kind of a person. And I just recently I had McDonald's again. I think a couple of times already. And now this is my third time to have a McDonald's item in years people because the only thing that I really like from McDonald's are their chicken nuggets and I like the you know the McRib that only comes a certain time of year which like in the fall around that time anyway I have that enough food I know everybody loves food I still gotta go to H-E-B and I still gotta get my chicken to make my chicken salad and that's why I decided that uh I'm only gonna eat that one piece of chicken. I'll probably tear up the other one and give it to my puppy, but it's spicy, so maybe I shouldn't. Anyway, so uh, I did get some items and I gave myself a $10 challenge. Now, I spent $13, but to my defense, I got some items that um, are not part of my crafting. So I'm gonna show you that, because <laughs> I'm gonna do my little haul right now. I can't move my seat back any further. This is as far as I get. And my camera is kind of like a, just kind of like zooms in as soon as I turn it on. And it's probably doing that little shaking motion. I hope not because it seems like it wants to like focus on my face. So if I move, it jiggles around. So I'm trying to do that. I don't know if it makes it all sick, but I really don't know where else to put my, my camera. If I put it on my vent, then it's just shooting me. It's shooting me from underneath and the, the old tuna chins. So I'll see if I can figure something else out or just not do the hauls in my car, right? Yeah, hey lady, get out of the car, get in your house. Gosh, goodness gracious. But anyway, I'm doing this in the middle of stuff and I kind of enjoy this because I get out of my house. So that's why I'm doing it. Okay, so I got some paper towels and I guess it's it sort of, being in my car sort of adds to that whole out and about because I'm not recording in the store. So you know, I'm out and about in my, in my car. So I got a big roll of paper towels one dollar and I've bought these before and I really like them they're not the best paper towels in the world but they certainly are really good they have some books I think they've always had books there I just never really paid attention but I found this one and this one says lust for leaf this is what it is and it has uh, veggie crowd pleasers to fuel your picnics potlucks and ragers Ooh. Yeah, any hipsters out there? Or vegans? Look at this. Protein. Okay, this is a burger, but uh, it gives you the the recipe where, wherever the heck that is for this one. It's just a picture. Okay, I guess it's just the introduction. So, to meaty type of things that are not really meat. Here's a hot dog right here. I'll show you the hot dog. Look at that. Look at that. Yum. Doesn't that look good? Okay, and, and it gives you an idea of what to use. And it says to use, uh, let's see, what is gonna be the substitute for the meat? It's got raw almonds, tofu, which I like tofu, bouillon, bouillon mushroom stock. I don't know if I, I'll just make my own mushroom stock. Grapeseed oil, onion powder, paprika, sugar, dried garlic, liquid smoke, mesquite, oh, sorry, not mesquite, mustard seed, ground mace which I've never heard of I don't know what that is uh, cardamom ground coriander ground wheat gluten a teaspoon of arrowroot I've heard of that but I've, I don't never seen it so I don't know what it looks like wax paper well you know those are just things that you need uh, on the side so those are the ingredients in there 
So that's pretty good. It says, we don't care about Hebrew nationals or Jimmy Dean or Dodger dogs. The idea that anyone would miss out eating pet food grade meat shoved in a casing seems frankly insane. Wow. Which is kind of true, but wow. Okay, I still like my meat, you know, whatever, uh, you know, I still like my meat. So, um, yeah. I just got a, a little recipe here for some Cool Ranch biscuits. Now, um, I bought this because I have mentioned in my cooking uh, videos, when I do my tutorials for some recipe or another, is that I like to look at recipes. I really like to look, I like to read them. I like to watch videos on recipes. I like to watch other people cooking. I like to get ideas. So I, I have a lot of cookbooks at home, and I've actually kind of collect them, and I have looked through some of them. Some of them I, I don't even think I've ever even looked in there. I may have just kind of like flipped the pages and thought, oh, this sounds great. And, and I got the book because everything in there looked good. But I get them because they inspire me to create my own thing. And now I do follow recipes. I have said many times in my videos, I do follow recipes, but sometimes I don't find a certain ingredient or I'm trying to do it from what I have at home. So it just inspires me from what I already have at home. So there's a lot of times to substitute things. So that's what I do. So this is only a dollar for heaven's sakes. And it's a night. An idea just to eat just a, you know like vegetable based uh, foods and why not because some of the stuff in here I mean I eat tofu I've eaten tofu before I like it and it does absorb a lot of the flavors of everything you oh my god look at this elote al hecho para porque look at this look at this are you getting a picture of that elote oh my god that corn I love corn in the cob made like that with lots of different things on it that one has a salt uh, earth of fiber whatever that is Romano picorino cheese, lime and cilantro leaves. Oh, I use rom I use a uh, Romano, uh, not Romano, but I use Parmesan cheese on my or queso fresco, like fresh Mexican cheese on my corn on the cob, and I do use cilantro. I don't know what Urf Urfa Biber is, but it's whatever that little black stuff on there is. But anyway, um, that's uh, a long story that went off with just one item, right? Okay, yay! Let's move on. I'm parked in an area where, oh my God, all these cars, and every time I hold up something, the, the people instead of continuing to drive off because they stop to look both ways to see, you know, they can continue on, they're staring at me. So I'm like, uh, move along, move along, you, you know, it's clear, you can move, but they're looking at me, and that's okay, I really don't care, but they're all old people, like, you know, older than me, you know, so I can say it, I'm old, so I can say that. So they're all probably wondering, what is that crazy lady doing out sitting in her car picking up stuff? Show, is she showing me that? Am I, I, that's what I feel like they're looking at me, like like I'm showing them that, the item. But, you know, young people have driven by and they don't give a crap. They just, yeah, whatever. And they just drive off. I've noticed that. I'm looking. Anyway, this is a uh, little <laughs> mix and serve container. Look at this. Isn't that cute? Only a dollar. And it's got the little measurements on the side. It's got up to two cups. And it's got the little opening on the top of the lid that comes off, that screws on. I just try to pull it off and it, you know, it's not, you know, I mean, it's, I don't know if the, the quality, it's cooking concepts, but these are not items that I use a lot. So, uh, so I'm sure I'm not going to, you know, destroy it anytime soon. <laughs> I hope not. But I have this thing where I want to, uh, where I have um, aloe vera um, juice and lemon juice. And I believe you put some um, some seasoning, turmeric. You put turmeric and you mix it all up. And I think you put honey in it also. You're supposed to make yourself a drink every morning. And I bought myself the items and I think I've drank it once. So this would be great to go ahead and uh, mix it up that way. Because uh, I'm supposed to drink 8 ounces of it. And this is, two, uh, uh, sorry, 16 ounces. So I can mix up 16 ounces. And then drink eight in a little in a separate little cup and then leave the rest of it in here and store it in the fridge or make it ahead of time and uh, have it cold in the morning. That way I don't have to put any ice in it. But it's okay if I have to put ice. Anyway, I got that dollar. I got these cotton swabs. I don't know how good they are, but I'm going to try them. 350 If they don't work, if they're not soft, they'll work for other things in you know, my craft room. So uh, they're still going to be a good buy. They're not going to go to waste. Uh, so obviously that's a good thing. Okay, so I got these little containers. Yeah. I got these little containers right here. They're only a dollar. I just ordered some shelving for my for my craft room. I ordered two tall shelving little bookcase type things. 
and um, I'm like about 30 inches wide. They're not very wide uh, shelving, but I'm going to put them on each side of one window that I have where I have a little seating area where I sit on. So I'm going to put them on each side uh, and create like a background and organize my crafts, my cute little boxes that I have there, organize them on those shelving. So they can kind of be my background for when I'm doing a video. And uh, I want to do something with these so that I can put little items in them, but I want to stack them, but not obviously not, but I want to make like a little tray thing where I have something holding them from the sides. So um, I looked around the Dollar Tree because I thought, you know, what else is plastic that I could possibly use? And they had these four by six uh, little magnetic frames. So I thought, you know, I glue and then glue. And then one on the other on this side over here and make like a little tray so i'll see that i'll see that works out and you can probably see because i'm going to do a video of that uh, and of course I've, I've got the glue a dollar okay so i've got one two three four five six seven eight items that i've shown you what else did i get i have 13 items oh i didn't count this other one okay nine items and i've got four more and so i got they're all the same so four of these little the little trays wait wait hold on this way see it's got a little it's got a little handle right here you pull that out it's a little tray a little drawer tray there's the picture and these are stackables organizing a drawer so these get stacked up on top of each other like so like that so they fit right on top of each other and I can see I can feel here where they have a little groove where they kind of fit in so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue these so they're not you know like falling apart and I can have like a little drawer pull there also on the little shelves and I can put some little things in there I have like little tacks and some other little like corsage pins and things like that that I have in like little boxes and sometimes the little boxes a little the little lids are a little a flimsy little plastic and then sometimes that opens up and things go flying everywhere. So I'm going to put those in here. So that's my 13 items that I got at the Dollar Tree. So I spent $13. And uh, for my craft that I'm going to do, that's four. That's one item. And then I spent $4, five the glue on this. So actually I spent $9 on my uh, $10 challenge for craft. And I'm going to get two crafts out of it. So not two crafts, but two. Oh yeah, two crafts, two projects to do with them so i think i did a very good job okay that's it for my out and about this time that's it because all i gotta go do is get my chicken to make my chicken salad oh, and i'm looking forward to that because i'm sorry popeyes but you know i'll try something different next time i hope you all enjoyed this little out and about little video and uh give me a big old thumbs up please 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 it's really important that you like it and i really would appreciate if you did leave some sort of comment below just something nice would be would be nice <laughs> make sure you leave a nice comment is what i meant to say and uh subscribe you know share the videos in your facebook your pinterest whatever you got twitter whatever uh, i am on twitter at trisha texas lady it's t-r-i-c-i-a-t-x-l-a-d-y just like it is down below trisha texas lady or trisha texas lady however you want to say it instagram same same name i haven't shared my facebook because uh, it's my family and my cousins and even though i do share my videos on there i don't know if i'm ready to share um uh having other people on there uh but uh, i think um if i if i get to know some of you uh, um a little bit more uh, there's a couple of people that have that i've known that have been watching and that i've actually been leaving comments and and uh I'm, i might just do that you know i don't know or maybe i'll just make, make my facebook uh a little more public but i do have trisha's creations a page for my facebook so if you look for that trisha's creation t-r-i-c-i-a apostrophe s creations okay so uh if you find that just like and follow my page and uh i do have a wordpress uh a blog page also that i'd started up and i haven't um i haven't worked on it in months uh, well, I, uh, yeah, it's been months and I have, I, I was updating the recipes that I was doing on the video. I was putting them on there on, on for, on a type form so that people who wanted to copy and paste the recipe could just go there. But what I've been doing is I've been putting the recipe in the description box of, the, of my videos. So I feel like, you know, they don't need to go to a blog page now because it's there. 
And I, I always find that, you know, when I'm, I want to follow a video, I want to know the recipe, but I don't want to have to look at another page for the recipe. So I like it when the YouTuber, you know, the person, um, puts the recipe down below so I can be watching it and I can also look at it while, you know, look at the ingredients while I'm kind of following along. And I kind of like that idea. And I thought, well, if I like that, I should offer that for y'all that are watching as well. So um, let me know what do you think. Uh, should I go ahead and go on with my blog? Because in my blog, I think I'm, I, I put pictures of the things that I was doing, like nice little pictures. And it's a little bit more work. I don't mind doing it. But I don't know if people would would follow, go to both things. And then there's Twitter and Instagram, all this stuff. Oh, my God. It's just so much. Just, I really do hope you all stick to the YouTube channel. And I hope you enjoy watching these videos. Again, give me a big old thumbs up. Leave a nice comment subscribe and as always enjoy a lot of that's not nice enjoy mm -hmm.